We're here with Jaden. He's talking about training then. So, mate, for those of you, for those of us who don't know anything about it, can you give us a little uh, overview? Yeah, so Training Sense is an actual uh, registered training organisation um, that we've brought over to WA. Um, and what it is, is we're running a Cert 2 in Sport and Rec and a Cert 2 in Sport career oriented towards AFL. Um, and it's for students aged 15 to 17 that are keen to, I guess, have a career in AFL or in the sport and recreation industry. Alright, cool. And what does it entail? Um, so what the boys do, who are involved in the course at the moment, we've got 25 at Perth Footy Club. Uh, 15 at Swan Districts and 16 at Vic Park uh, Junior Football Club. So what it entails, the boys do everything from a sports first aid course uh, to personal development units um, and like things like personal development, uh, you know, public speaking, um, preparing a pre pre-event and post-event meal, um, things like that. But the the big thing about the program is the boys get paid to do it. Uh, it's a government-funded initiative, and uh, the boys get around. $80 a week to do the course, um, but they have to do eight hours a week work. Now, what that eight hours a week work is, it's uh, five hours a week is already made up of training and playing, so two training sessions and one game, and the other three hours is made up of just work at their local footy club. So at Perth at the moment, we've got boys you know, running water, um, you know, being trainers because they've done their sports first aid course. Um, so yeah, it's, a, it's a really good program, and next year we're hoping to get every uh, Waffle Club on board and for boys looking to get involved in this program, how exactly about do they go and do that? Yeah, so we'll be making contact with all the Waffle Clubs uh, later in the year. Um, but I guess directly, yeah, they can call me. Uh, my number, which is on our uh, Training Sense website, uh, it's just on the football there, trainingsense.com.au. And uh, yeah, and they can just go from there. But we'll be making contact with all the Waffle Clubs from there. And we will be working with some of the private schools and some of the boys who aren't playing with the Waffle Clubs at the moment. Yeah, it's a really good call. Uh, so at the moment, we've got Aquinas and Trinity boys on board. Um, but yeah, we'll be looking to get all the PSA schools on board as well um, and sort of work it into their, yeah, sort of their vet track and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it sounds yeah. brilliant. Um, look, it sounds like a great course as well for the kids moving into AFL. Um, can anyone sign up? Yeah, they can. Uh, for the career orientated one, it's boys that actually want to make a career in AFL, uh, whether that's playing or in just the football industry. Um, so yeah, it's, it's fine to, uh, if you've got aspirations to be an AFL player or in the industry, that's fine. Uh, the sport and rec course, yeah, that's, that's open to anyone. Cool. Now, now to your own personal football stuff, uh, how did you guys go on the weekend? Uh, yeah, we played South Fremantle at Brown Stadium. Uh, unluckily went down by 15 points. Uh, look, we've been sort of like a yo-yo this year. We, we've beaten the top sides, lost to the, the teams below us, and uh, it was a really big challenge for us. And, and yeah, disappointingly enough, we, we didn't get over the line. Um, yeah, so it's just something we're going to really work for the next four weeks is be consistent. Well, that, that's, that's the thing. Coming off that massive win against West Perth, um, do you feel as though you guys are making those improvements to pull yourself off the bottom of the ladder? Yeah, we are. Look, because when we've sort of had a really good win, we've probably followed it up with a really poor performance and, and on the weekend, although it was below standard, we only went down by a couple of goals and had our chances in the game to win. Um, so yeah, it's something that we need to just work on and, and just try to be as consistent as we can. Uh, that's brilliant. And uh, who you got coming up this weekend? Uh, we have Subiaco at uh, Leadable Oval. Um, so yeah, really big game and hopefully we can try to pinch this spot off them. Yeah, that'd be great and um, probably great for the teams above them. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> all right, wait, well, thanks for coming in today and um, all the best for the rest of the season. No worries, thanks for having me. Thanks. We are called the mighty demons and we're feared by one and all.